What's special about Mumbai Trans Harbour Link project? Let's find out. India's longest sea bridge is indeed an engineering marvel. We are talking about the Mumbai Trans Harbour Link project which is all set to open by the end of this year. Chatting up with us on its key economic benefits, unique features and the tolling system is Sanjay Mukherjee, the Commissioner of Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority. Welcome to TY Business Bites, Mr. Mukherjee. Thank you for taking out time for us. Uh, so my first question to you is uh, that what are the salient features of the Mumbai Trans Harbour Link and uh, uh, what are the key benefits in terms of the travel and all that will be cut? Thank you very much and thank you for having me in your program. Uh, well, regarding the Mumbai Trans Harbour Link, I think the key thing about it is that it connects Mumbai and it connects Navi Mumbai. So Navi Mumbai right. was developed way back as a you know as the satellite city of Mumbai, and it was connected by two bridges. One is the Thane Creek Bridge, and the other one is the Aeroli Bridge. This actually makes Mumbai the closest to Navi Mumbai, and it connects uh, the area called as Shivdi in uh, Mumbai to uh, area called as uh, Ulve Chirle in Navi Mumbai. So this is India's mm -hmm. longest uh, sea bridge. The span over the sea is uh, 16 kilometers plus. The total length of that bridge is 22 kilometers plus. And this bridge is uh, built on absolute modern technology. And it is also, the, you know, the funding is also interesting. It is funded by JICA. And uh, the, well, the work of the bridge is uh, going on at full speed. The, and we hope that the bridge will be completed very very soon now what this will do is that it will connect new bombay and it will connect mumbai and therefore actually it will open up a vast area of development that is existing to people of mumbai the distance of connecting crossing that bridge will be something like 20 22 meter uh, minutes you know so if you take the whole mumbai uh, connectivity that is happening so suppose you start from mantralay or church gate right and then you go take the mumbai coastal road and then you go on and you can enter into the uh, MTHL connector from Varli. And then you land at Shivdi and then you take up the MTHL. Then you cross the MTHL, you land at Tidle uh, uh, or you land at Ulve. Then there is a, uh, another coastal road which has been planned. So that coastal road takes you to Palm Beach Road in Navi Mumbai and it takes you to the Navi Mumbai International Airport. There is another coastal road which is being planned which is which will take you to Argar, where the International Corporate Park is getting developed. Furthermore, this MTHL, there is a, another connector that will connect you to the Mumbai Pune Expressway. So this right. is going to change the entire way this uh, region commutes, you know. So it will benefit Mumbai. It will benefit Navi Mumbai by the arbitrage opportunity. It will benefit Pune because of the time that is saved. It will benefit uh, Mumbai cars from using the Navi Mumbai International Airport. It will also benefit the other way around. People of Navi Mumbai can come to Mumbai much faster. So the connectivity, you know, will increase. If you take from the northern side, then there is a Bandra Varsova ceiling that is being planned. So right from Varsova, Bandra, you can directly enter into that connector and then get into the MTHL and again avail of those benefits. So therefore, it's normally said that once all these projects are supposed to be completed in 2024, from 2025 onwards, the entire Mumbai connectivity is going to change and therefore the entire way that Mumbai thinks and the entire way that Mumbai operates that will show a great boost you know and uh, the parts serviced by the MTHL are uh, today among the fastest growing parts of uh, the country and that growth rate will be sustained over a period of time. Okay are there any uh, estimates to the economic benefits that we are going to see once not just the MTHL, but as you said, a lot of the other projects around Mumbai complete and all the connecting nodes come into place. See, all these things will increase the state GDP by at least 5%. They are estimated to increase the national GDP by 1%. So that itself tells us ki what is the potential that uh, this one uh, bridge has. And this bridge is therefore called as a game changer. And, uh, Therefore, everybody is very, you know, keenly looking forward for this bridge to be completed. And we at MMRD are very, very keenly following the way the bridge is being executed. Okay. And are there any international best practices or unique challenges that you had to face to execute a project of this scale? Oh, yes. This is India's first bridge of this scale, you know. So, uh, 
obviously all the international best practices have been put in place one of the reasons of having uh, you know japanese support and jaica's funding is not just the funding but also the technological expertise that comes with it so okay. the bridge has been built with an absolute modern technology span lengths and all are very long and the design is uh, you know very safe the the speed etc is extremely optimal so the driving experience in this bridge is going to be a very very pleasing driving experience you know so right. that is how the bridge has been planned and uh, well as i say the proof of the pudding is in the eating so when the bridge will be open for public everybody will be able to see it and they'll be able to judge for themselves how uh, we you know how we have fared and what about the tolling system you know uh, will public and private vehicles both have to pay toll yes uh, this mthl is Uh, going to be based on the tolling system so everybody will have to pay toll and the toll will be as per the policy which is decided by the state so that's how it is going to be the tolling will obviously be of the latest technology but it will not be barrier free we will we definitely will have barriers so as you come in you if you have an automatic thing then your car gets you know rfid code uh, and then the barrier opens and you just move in seamlessly but if you don't then in that case uh, you know the the barrier stops and then you are caught and penalized that is the model in, in which that we are going to have here today is a very this technology is going to be absolutely la- latest so the way that you travel and come and do your traveling that is going to be seamless and hassle free okay okay basically so it's going to be like a fast track system something like the fast track system okay okay and uh, you know we are coming back to the travel time that we spoke of both in terms of uh, mumbai to navi mumbai and uh, as you said it's going to further connect to pune there is also buzz that the travel time to goa is going to come down so can you tell us uh, roughly how much time will commuters save from mumbai to navi mumbai from mumbai to goa from mumbai to pune see the travel time across that bridge will be 15 to 20 minutes right that is the difference not today if you go from mumbai if you take, if you start from mumbai and then you travel to the landing point of the, this mthl then it takes you about 2 hours that mm-hmm. will come down to something like 20 minutes like other things like for instance from the mthl landing via the coastal road which is proposed where construction is still ongoing so that will be 11 minutes you know mm-hmm. which way, the way is to go through the thane creek bridge and that takes about an hour and a quarter so that is the extent of uh, time saving that you will have similarly uh, you know if, if you are traveling to uh, say uh, pune then uh, your time saved will be more than an hour you know overall time that you will save will be uh, about an hour to an hour and a half maybe more mm-hmm. so uh, the amount of time saved is going to be enormous but more than that you know because the traffic will be seamless and because the traffic will move on you know without any hassle and hindrance so the engines of the cars will all be moving so there will be lesser noxious gases lesser co2 emissions and the gain okay. that this project will bring to the our overall well being and to the environment is something which may perhaps be difficult to measure but is something that we will be able to feel